That way, no matter who wins, no one loses. Cool. Should we shake on it? Mm, let's kiss on it. Hey, guys. Check out this old book I found in the library basement. I bet it's been buried down there for years. Oops. Gee, what's that? Well, it's a letter, and it's dated 1953. Listen. I know the Martians are landing on Thursday. There's no way I'd let those six-eyed green goobers get their tentacles on my money. He's a nutcase. I'm not a nutcase, so... <laughs> I'm hiding my fortune. Five million dollars. Oh, no. oh, no. I've left a trail of four riddles. Whoever can solve them can keep my fortune. Oh, hey, look, here's your first riddle. Wow, you do hear about rich eccentrics all the time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't tell me we're actually considering running around like maniacs trying to find treasure. How do you even know it's real? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're probably right. I mean, there's only a small chance this could lead to $5 million. I'll, I'll, I'll just throw this away. Okay, here's the first riddle. For two hours of gladness and mirth, it's more than 50 cents worth. If you do happen to go, check the fifth in the hottest row. Hmm. What makes you happy for 50 cents and lasts for two hours? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. This was written back in 1953. Well, back in those days, for 50 cents, people could go to the movies. That's it. <laughs> to the movies? That's it. <laughs> Ooh, I love it when you're smart. Oh, yeah? Well, um, E equals MC squared. <laughs> All right, let's go get that five million bucks. Yeah, and then split it seven equal ways, right? Yeah. Of course. I don't know. Um, since Tony figured out the riddle, I think he should get more money than the rest of us. No way. He should get a lot more. That was really smart. He deserves it. I yeah, that was 15 Oh, man, we're all friends. We all get an even cut. Come on, man. I love you guys. Come on, group hug. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and at the end of round one, everyone's still friends. I hope your lips will enjoy being wrong as much as my lips will enjoy being right. <laughs> if you do happen to go, check the fifth in the hottest row. Which one's the hottest row? I know. You make out in the last row. It was so fat, so. <laughs> That's the hottest row. <laughs> oh, no, man. There's a whole lot of somebody sitting there. Piece of cake. I know how to handle big guys like this. Excuse me. There's a mouse under your seat. Boy, don't I it? Here, let's go to Sharky's to figure it out. Okay. I'll hold it. I found it. I'll hold it. You're suddenly awfully insistent, Tiff. Yeah, you're not thinking about solving that clue without us, are you? Guys, this is Tiffany. She's so honest, she's like Abe Lincoln. Only with nice legs. <laughs> Go where it's best. For fish, for walks, for rest. That's all it says. What does it mean? Oh, I know, I know. It's uh, Petunia's pet palace. They got the cutest goldfish in town. <laughs> Forget it, Tony. For a stupid answer like that, you should get sly. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you can fish and rest and walk. At the pier. And it's also the best place on the beach. Yeah, that's it. It's the pier. Let's go. Wait. It's late. We don't all have to march down there. Mark, you go. We all trust him, right? Uh, I don't believe this. You guys don't trust me? It's not that we don't trust you. We're just afraid that you'll run off with the money if we're not there. <laughs> Fine, if that's how you feel, one of you go. Wait, I will. No, I'll go. I, I said, said I will. Go. 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 Guys! It's late and we're burnt. Let's bag it till morning, and then we'll all go to the pier together as friends. Come on, how about a group hug? Mm. I said group hug. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it won't be long now. Better start puckering up. I was not trying to push you out of the car. The passenger door is broken and it opens sometimes when I make left turns. <laughs> being paranoid. I am not being paranoid. I just think you were trying to kill me. <laughs> so, this 
is how you guys go home. Oh, and I suppose you're here doing some moonlight surfing? Hey, 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 let's just chill out. Don't even argue. We'll just split the money three ways. Make it four ways. Oh. Hey, you can't trust anybody these days. We should be ashamed of ourselves. I feel so dirty and slimy and skunky. I feel like Sly. Hey, I'm not skunky. Well, it looks like none of us can be trusted. Well, except Jake and Lorena. Yeah, they're our real friends. And because they are our real friends, we don't have to split it with them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody look carefully and spread out. Hey! No one try anything funny. Okay, I know the Brady Bunch did an episode like this, and Marsha found the money under a park bench. Stupid show. <laughs> Gotta find the money. Gotta find the money. Gotta find the money. This is awful. If we keep being so greedy, we won't be friends much longer. Then again, five million bucks could buy lots of new friends. <laughs> what was that? Oh, just Tiffany. Man, I got to relax. Deep breaths. I am cool. I am calm. I am. No! <laughs> Gotta find the money. Gotta find the money. Gotta find the money. Look at Tiffany. I hope she finds it. What am I saying? I've got to be more sneaky, more underhanded. Gotta find the money. Gotta find the money. Gotta find the money. More like a winkle. Gotta find the money. Gotta find the money. Gotta find the money. Then you'll be sleeping with the fishes, capiche? <laughs> well, lessons are learned like English lit. This last riddle's in the 